Hey River of Life and anyone else tuning in, my name is Gabriel Lobsinger and I'm, uh, I have a thought to share this afternoon or this evening. Um, I want to talk about joy and being happy. Um, there ought to be something inside of us that makes us different, right? Because of who we are and uh, because of the experience that we have with the Holy Ghost and with God and with, you know, the the change that he makes in our life. Um, today I was at the grocery store picking up some things and I saw a little boy really excited running just in front of his mother and uh, he was coming towards me and he looked at me and I looked at him and uh, if his mom hadn't stopped him he probably would have run right up to me give me a hug or a high five or something and uh, he was just really excited and she kept you know having to kind of redirect him and caution him to where he shouldn't go and run up to people and stuff like that but uh, it made me think for a second about his perspective he didn't see anything going on in the world he doesn't know the news he doesn't see face masks and you know quarantine to him doesn't mean anything and, I was thinking, man, that's got to be great to have that childlikeness. And uh, the Bible actually talks about it, um, being a child and having that joy of a child and the innocence and the childlike faith. So when I thought more about this, I also know that God doesn't want us to worry about anything. It says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast your cares upon him for he careth for you. Another interpretation of that scripture says, cast your anxiety on him. And uh, if anybody has anxiety, this is the time of, in life, when people would probably have anxiety. Um, but we don't need to be filled with that. We can cast it aside and let God deal with it and help us with it. But immediately after that verse, it also says, be sober, be vigilant. For our adversary, the devil, is uh, as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So even though we have to be childlike and have faith and share that joy and excitement, we also have to be cautious of pitfalls, distractions, and things that would pull us away from what we need to be and the happiness and the joy that we ought to be spreading. Amen? But uh, So be happy, but also be cautious. Um, and then we can entertain being in the kingdom of God, doing what's right. A simple story in the Bible talks a little bit about and gives insight to the kingdom of God and how it's made up, that it is childlikeness. And uh, often we acknowledge the idea of childlike faith. So in Matthew 19, chapter 19, verses 13 through 14, it says talks about these people bringing their kids to see Jesus and the disciples rebuking them and shooing them away and saying no 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 but Jesus steps up and says hey no and tells the disciples listen suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven and uh, in this setting the word suffer means not forbidding or not hindering um, to allow and to permit them to come so Jesus says specifically you know suffer them not um, you know allow them to come to me for such is the kingdom of heaven that kind of faith that kind of you know desire to be with Jesus so that tells me that the innocent desire to be with God like children is something that he really loves and desires from us to seek after him and to want to be near him is uh, something mighty and uh, something powerful for and favorable uh, in his sight um, but just before that chapter in uh, verse in chapter 18 of Matthew Jesus had to teach the disciples something um, before this interaction all took place one of the disciples were asking him in a setting they said who is the greatest in the kingdom and Jesus proceeds to tell them and he grabs a little boy 
maybe not grabs, but he calls a little boy over and he says this, he says, except you be converted and become as this little child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So this is just one chapter before the story we talked about when the disciples are getting these people out of there because they're bringing their children to Jesus. So they, they must have forgotten this conversation already. But we have to be like those children. There's an innocence and a joy that comes from kids. I know for me, with my kids, and things that we do together, and when I see them interact, and when I see them with other kids, and maybe even, you know, grandparents have grandkids, and they see them, and it's a joy to them. But kids bring this joy that, you know, you just don't get anywhere else other than with kids. And especially when they're well behaved. But when we grow up to be adults, I think we forget a lot of things that we embraced as kids. You know, the excitement and the joy of different things that we would do. And this world, really, without us bringing it, you know, anxiety and frustration, this world has enough crusty curmudgeons. And uh, I don't want to be one. I want to be different. I want to be more like Jesus. Um, in fact, the Bible says... In Matthew 18 7 it says woe unto the world because of offenses for it must needs that be offenses come but woe that but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh so basically the world's gonna deal with things you know me you and me us we are gonna deal with stuff and there's offenses that are gonna come there's hard times that are gonna come and the Bible says that, and, and it predicts a lot of other things that are just down the road going to come. Uh, but these difficult things don't have to come from us. In fact, the Bible says right there that we shouldn't be where it comes from. Woe to the man where offenses come from. So I want to challenge everybody to be like children. You know, let's just have joy that little kids have and that excitement and let's do things that would you know be conducive to the community and share joy and love and and it doesn't hurt to let them know that it's Jesus who's the reason for it um, that's a way to witness and to grow in Jesus so if uh, if we could do that you know continue to pray and read the Bible and let's just be steadfast in the race that we run to the end and uh, God bless you all, and I pray that this has been helpful and beneficial, and uh, have a good one. Enjoy. Enjoy.